Hi, I am going to discuss about uh, two input NAND gate design using CMOS technology. NAND gate symbol we know that it is having two inputs A and B and the output for NAND gate is Y is equal A dot B whole bar. This is only the symbol. Uh, if you want to design internal circuit, so I will explain how to design an internal circuit for the NAND gate. What are the rules? You will discuss. So this is and the truth table of course 0 dot 0 or 0 into 0 whole bar 0 into 0 means 0 whole bar means is equal to 1. 0 into 1 0 0 into 1 0 whole bar means 1 1 into 1 1 and 1 bar means 0 we need to get this is an truth table for NAND gate and this is an internal circuit how to draw the NAND gate internal circuit I will explain and what are the rules I will explain so y is equal a dot b is the output for NAND gate this is an NAND gate output and we know that the rules to design a gate if a and b are a and b are multiplications so then the pull down network should be series should be series if it is plus a plus b it should be pull down network should be parallel but it is it should be series pull down network so this is the condition uh, for the condition for the designing a gate so now i will design the gate for that uh, circuit so a dot b whole bar means pull down network should be always in series and that too with n mos transistors so then only we can mm, get the our required output so this is a and this is b this is a and b of course uh, the ground is required this is the ground so now the pull down network is completed coming to the pull up network completely complement so here nmos transistor we are used and here you should you should use you should go for pmos transistors and that too here these are series and here the transistor should be in parallel so that is the complementary technology CMOS. This is one. One more transistor we need to take. This is second. So now the connect both the transistor. Of course, here A. I am assuming here B. So now supply is required for this circuit VDD, VDD, and always we need to take uh, in between pull up and pull down network. We can get easily our required output. Of course, it is source, gate, and drain, and source, gate, and drain terminals. Drain. Now, I will check it one condition. I am giving 0, A is 0, and B is 0, and uh, A into B whole bar equal to 0 into 0. 0 bar means this is equal to 1. We need to get it. This is the first condition. I will check it this A equal to 0 and b equal to 0 and a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 so now it is an nmos transistor down, pull down transistors both are nmos and pull up transistors both are t1 t2 i am assuming both are pmos transistor complement to each other while giving uh, of course it is source gate drain source gate drain so uh, source gate drain and uh, uh, I am assuming it is uh, NPN, of course NMOS means it is NPN. So we know that, uh, check it here, right side corner, when it is on condition, NMOS transistor, source, gate, drain. So VGS should be, when you are giving input signal, voltage between gate and source should be greater than threshold voltage for the transistor so then only it will goes to on condition if it is less easiest is less so then it will goes to off condition so that's why while giving 0 0 
while giving 0 0 this nmos transistor will goes to off condition off this is off and this is off this is also off condition both nmos because uh, just assume one more uh, logic 0 is I am assuming minus and uh, here P means positive and 0 means it is negative just assumption both are uh, reverse bias means it will goes to off condition so while giving 0 0 the NMOS transistor will goes to automatically off condition and coming to here this is P and P, P MOS transistor so goes to on condition 0 to negative or else there is a sufficient energy that is VGS should be greater than 0 so greater than VT so it will goes to on condition or else you can assume just assumption like this 0 means negative, negative to n p n p transistor this one negative to negative forward bias it will goes to on condition here so this is also on condition similarly because it is a p n p so now we can see this uh, t1 t2 pull up transistors are on and pull down transistors are in off condition now the vdd is uh, flowing like this either t1 transistor to this way and one more way is uh, this from t1 to this is the way so because it is a pull down network is completely open circuit because it is uh, it is it is uh, off condition so that's why so it is the pull down network is in off condition off condition so hence you may get the output is high while giving 0 0 you are getting we are getting output is high because the pull down network is off condition so first condition is satisfied one more condition i will explain and then i will so i am giving one and one and one to one one bar means we need to get zero so i need to go with one 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 so a equal to one and b equal to one we need to give so then what will happen for transistor we will check it so a equal to 1 I am giving, b equal to 1 I am giving. So one, so PMOS transistors should be in on condition while giving 1. So VGS is, there is a sufficient VDS, VGS, VGS, I will explain here. So there is a uh, PMOS, if you take uh, PMOS transistor, NPM source gate drain. So when VGS is greater than VT, so it will goes to on condition so but while giving one it will, there is a sufficient vds vgs so it will goes to on condition if it is zero input it will goes to off condition or else you can assume like this one two this is n mos will goes to off condition here you can see this this is this is npn not pnp when npn n n mos transistor npn so it will goes to on condition it will goes to there is a sufficient vds so it will goes to on condition when you are giving zero it will goes to off condition the same n mos transistor this is n mos not p mos this is n mos npn and this is also n mos n mos while giving zero there is uh, no sufficient no sufficient vgs so then it will goes to off condition if you are it is one it will goes to on if it is zero it will goes to off condition so that's why here you can see this n mass will goes to off condition here and this will goes to off condition or else you can assume like this one to positive forward bias one to p forward bias both uh, just assumption so it will goes to on condition it will goes to on condition as you discussed here while giving one it will goes to on condition so therefore coming to the here n equal one a equal one so it will goes to pmos transistors will goes to off condition because of reverse uh, insufficient vgs or else just assume like this uh, assumption 1 to negative p and p transistor 1 to negative reverse bias it will goes to off and this is also goes to 
of condition. Now we can see this. It is and uh, acted as an open circuit. Pull up, pull up circuit will act as an open circuit. Open, open circuit, and uh, this is in on condition. So, but uh, here there is no flow from here to here. So, hence uh, we, you will get the output is zero. So, while giving one and one, you will get the zero output. So, the second condition is also satisfied. Like this, uh, you you may get the output remaining two cases also. So, here we are using uh, two NMOS transistors and two. MOS transistors both are complement to one another. Here it is pull down network is in series, pull up network is in parallel. So that's why it is named as CMOS technology. Using CMOS technology, we are designed to input NAND gate that is y is equal to a dot b whole bar. So, like this, we can design any number of uh, transistors if it is. A is equal to about two inputs only. If it is even three inputs are also there, so we can go like this. Like uh, A is parallel to B, B is parallel to B is parallel to C, C. So like this, uh, we can design. This is the pull down network, and uh, pull up network should be in parallel. So any number of gates we can design easily by using this CMOS technology. Thank you.